after thinking about it, I realized um, that maybe there weren't many videos on YouTube about how to install Windows 10 on a virtual machine. So I decided I was going to go ahead and just create one anyways. Um, after you start up your virtual machine and click connect to see the virtual machine, uh, it's going to take a little bit of, of thinking while it gathers all the files, um, but you'll eventually be uh, met with this splash screen and you just click install now. Um, it's going to do a, a bit more setting up. This will probably take two or three seconds. All right, so here, if you have a product key, you could activate Windows 10, but for myself, I don't intend to activate Windows 10. Um, the only thing you really gain by activating it is it removes like a watermark from your screen asking you to activate, and it allows you to have certain customizations. But like I said, this is gonna be primarily used as an always on uh, iPhone backup. I'm never gonna actually interface with this machine unless I need to, to restore um, a phone from backup. So I really don't care if I can personalize it, and I really don't care if there's a watermark on the screen. So yeah, I don't plan to activate Windows 10. Um, it's going to ask you which version you want to install. I'm just going to go with the standard Windows 10 Home. Um, it's going to bring me to my next screen. The one of the the one of the key differences is um, it's just going to be when we go to install it, we don't want to upgrade because there is no operating system on this. We want to say custom install and we want to create a new partition on the virtual drive that we've created. So just leave it as default, say OK, just letting us know that Windows is going to create whatever partitions it needs to create in order to install properly. Once it's done, we'll choose the drive that has, uh, there we go, the largest amount, drive zero partition two, and we select next. This part's gonna take a very long time. I'm not going to bore you with all the details, so I will just speed it up and come back. On second thought, I probably won't even speed it up. I'll probably just uh, kill the video here and then come back when it's done. Okay, Windows has done its thing for quite some time now, and it's gotten us to our next screen. It says, let's start with the region. I'm in the US, we'll click yes. And it's going to say just a moment, so hopefully this won't take too long. And yep, keyboard layout of the US. I don't need a second keyboard. All right, so it's got some important setup stuff to do, so it's gonna probably probably means it's gonna take a while. So we'll come back again. All right, we're back. It wants me to sign in with an account. I don't want an account, and it's not gonna let me skip. So let's see if I say learn more. No, I'm trying to make it to let it skip this part because I really don't want to create account. Maybe there'll be an option to just skip by it because, like I said, this isn't always on iPhone backup. I don't really care. No, that's not it. We'll try to go back. I would rather skip it. Blah, blah, blah. Nope, not what I'm looking for. Nope, that's just going to tell me about how Microsoft's going to steal my information. An email address. Can I enter a fake one? Sorry if that's your real number. I just made it up. There we go, offline account. I don't want to create an account. Uh, we're gonna say limited experience because I really don't want any extra frills. And who's gonna use this PC? We need a name, we'll call this YouTube PC. There we go. And password. No, I don't know. I don't really want a password right now, but 
That'll do. Uh, really? This is annoying. I don't really want any of this. Limited experience. All right, sorry for that delay. Um, I figured out what was going on, and when it asked for a password, I could have just skipped past it, and it would just, I wouldn't have to create a password or security questions or any of that. So that's what I did. Um, I just said skip password. Do I want to do more? Nope, I don't want to give Microsoft any control. This is not an important machine. We're going to decline everything from a digital assistant. And uh, no, I don't want to let do let Microsoft have any of this information because again, this is just a backup thing on my Synology. Don't really want any of that. Advertising? Oh, definitely not. There we go. And then I think we are almost there. It'll probably need to do a final update or something. Hello. And getting everything ready for me. Got it. Yeah, this is that final update, final configuration that I was thinking it was going to do. So this part will probably take a while too. Yeah. And I will just come back after all of this is done because I'm not going to make you guys sit through all that. Okay, it's done its thing. Um, we are here on the Windows 10 homepage and um, or desktop rather and it's asking do we want to make our computer available on the network I do it'll help me make it a little easier to find when I set everything up for the first time and as you can see we now have a Windows 10 virtual machine running inside of our Synology NAS and we'll go ahead and go to Google and ask it what day it is so you can see we do have network connection as well let's see google.com Microsoft is going to fight me. Just close this page down. I didn't want to do that. It is still a little bit slow, but trust me, compared to the other day when I set up the drive or when I set up the virtual machine. when I only had four gigabytes of RAM total. This is lightning fast. And it should give us a response. Yep, Friday, February 7th, 2020. And as you can see, I'm in Hesperia, California. Yep, that is all correct. We have internet access and in the next video, I will show you guys how to uh, set up iMazing and back up your iPhones um, automatically every day. So if you found this video useful, leave me a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see me work on with the Synology NAS. Uh, future projects for me are going to be um, installing a whole house audio system. Everything's already wired for it. I just need to figure out um, how I'm going to implement it using the NAS and a WebDAB server to share media from my server to friends and family. So if you guys have any other ideas, let me know. If you need to see how I set up the Windows 10 virtual machine, I'm going to go ahead and link it here. Um, and you can go ahead and take a look at how I created the virtual machine on the NAS. And also, if you want to see uh, how to upgrade the RAM on your server, go ahead and click the link here, and you can see that. All right, thanks, everyone. Have a good day.